Guys, the summer break is almost over. The Dutch Grand Prix is this weekend, and that means we need to make our official Dutch Grand Prix predictions. We're back again. It's been a long summer break. I know I'm not the only one who's been waiting impatiently for F1 to come back, but now it's time. It's here, and we have the back half of the 2023 season to get ready for it. But first, we're going to make our official Dutch Grand Prix predictions and as always if you're an F1 fan go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and let me know what your predictions are along with me down in the comments below but we have some fun uh, predictions coming up for you we have our biggest positive surprise our biggest disappointment our qualifying top three our race podium and then of course as always it wouldn't be this channel and it wouldn't be me if we didn't make our official Haas predictions for the race weekend let's go ahead let's jump on into it and we'll get started right here right now let's go ahead and get things started with our prediction for the biggest positive surprise this weekend around Zandvoort and I have gone relatively safe but i think it's still gonna count i've gone for mercedes as a team last season in 2022 zanvoort was probably one of the brighter spots for mercedes and i think with the strides they've made this year the shift in car focus i think this year could be even better for them i think lewis has been on very very good form recently and i think george has been kind of needing a good full weekend top to bottom you know feeling pretty good i think he's had you know a hiccup here or there for the last few race weekends in a row and so i think mercedes is going to go into the dutch grand prix and have a pretty good chance at some solid results i know they've been pulling in pretty decent results but i think we might see a little bit of an above average result for them around zandvoort i can't wait to see what it has in store for them as well as up and down the grid but mercedes you are my prediction for biggest positive surprise and so normally in these prediction videos, if you're new here, I also like to get my community involved and I give them an opportunity to make their predictions as well. Unfortunately, with the timelines of how this week has gone, I'm actually recording this in a very, very big time crunch. And so I didn't have time to poll them for their predictions. But this normally is where I would give their predictions after mine. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, it's just not going to happen this week. But they'll be back next weekend for uh, the next race weekend. But for this one, it's going to be relatively shorter and we're just going to roll through my predictions and we'll get on with the next one biggest disappointment rolling right into our next prediction biggest disappointment for the dutch grand prix weekend and i it pains me to say this and i think i've made this prediction recently as well but i just have a bad feeling about alex albon i think alex has been performing extremely well in the Williams this year, putting that car in a lot of spots where maybe it shouldn't be in uh, some certain circuits, but there's just something about this weekend, or maybe it's just the summer break, the long summer break, the vibes are off, but I just think Alex Albon might have a tough weekend around Zandvoort, which might not necessarily suit the Williams like many of us expected to, and so I think it could be a long weekend for Alex, who as you know, we've heard over the last week or so, might be you know talking to some top teams, um, with contracts, Silly season starting to roll around. I think we might see some things happening with him. I think he's going to want to come out and put in a good performance. But I think the uh, Zanvoort and the Williams just will not mesh correctly. And so I think it could be a long weekend for Alex Albon. So, Alex, I'm sorry, but you're my choice of our biggest disappointment this weekend at the Dutch Grand Prix. And now we move into our official session predictions, starting with our qualifying top three. And like we have been going for basically this entire season, we're going to go top down, pole position down to P3, because my pole position prediction has been officially rubber stamped in uh, for the last, I can't even remember how many race weekends, but Max Verstappen is my pick to take pole position around Zandvoort. I mean, he would probably rather retire than not take pole at his home race. And I think that we're going to see a magical qualifying performance for Max. And it's going to take an act of God to keep Max from taking pole around Zandvoort this weekend. And so, Max, you are my prediction for pole. Moving on to P2 in qualifying, I have gone for, surprise, surprise, Lewis Hamilton. I think Zandvoort reminds me a lot of Hungary in certain aspects. And so we saw Lewis take a legitimate pole position around Hungary. And I think Lewis could be, you know, extra motivated coming out of the summer break to continue pushing on towards the finishing of this season. And I think he could do very, very well around uh, around Zandvoort. And like I mentioned, in biggest positive surprise, Mercedes did very well last year uh, around Zandvoort. And I think this year they could take another step forward. So Lewis, you are my pick 
or P2 in qualifying. And P3, I kind of noodled around with this pick as a biggest positive surprise before settling on Mercedes. But Charles Leclerc, you are my pick for P3. I think Charles is kind of due for a very, very good result. I think it's been a few uh, race weekends but that we've really seen a special performance from Charles. And at this point, it just it might just be that a P3 in qualifying might disqualify. And so Charles, you round out my top three for my qualifying predictions. Coming off qualifying, we now move on to the podium predictions. And I am once again going to start top down because unsurprisingly, I think my pick for the winner of the Dutch Grand Prix, Max Verstappen. I don't even feel like I really need to go into much detail on why I made this prediction. It's the Dutch Grand Prix. He's a Dutch driver. He's in the best car. He's currently driving the best on the grid until someone can reliably consistently beat Max on track in that car. Max, you are stamped into my P1 spot, so congratulations. I'm gonna go ahead and say congratulations. Maybe we'll get a reverse jinx situation going on here, but right now, Max is my pick for the winner of the Dutch Grand Prix. In P2, I'm following it up with a Lewis Hamilton prediction for P2. I think starting second will be really good for, for Mercedes if he actually ends up taking it. I think Max will just kind of go off into the distance and Lewis will be able to manage the race from there uh, going in from P2. And so I think it, it is a prime opportunity if it happens this way for Lewis to get you know, a solid second place performance on track. And at this point, finishing second behind Max is basically a win. And so I think Lewis is due for a very good weekend this weekend, or at least that's how I'm seeing it play out. And then for P3, rounding out the podium, I have gone for Lando Norris. The McLaren has been exceptional the last few rounds. And I just, I don't know what it is about this weekend, but it just feels like the, the McLaren might not qualify as well, but the race pace that comes out of it might be good enough to propel Lando up onto the podium over an, an inevitable Ferrari blunder. Um, that just seems to always come whenever they have some decent results in qualifying. And so Lando, you are my pick for P3, rounding out the podium for the Dutch Grand Prix this weekend. Rounding out our predictions is our official Haas predictions of the race weekend. And, and I'll be the first to admit, that the Haas predictions have been a little boring this year, mainly because the Haas car is definitely not uh, quite always in a position to really compete for the, at the top end of the grid. And so it seems like these predictions constantly feel like the same thing over and over. So this week, I'm feeling pretty good. I think I got, I, maybe it's the summer break energy. We're coming back into it. The vibes are high. The energy is rising as we move into the race weekend. So here are my predictions for the Haas this weekend. Two cars in the Q2. The Haas, decent in qualifying. Kevin Magnussen uh, got into Q2 in Spa, you know. That's good. Nico, unfortunately, was a little unlucky with timing and, and mechanical issues, but that's besides the point. So I have two cars into Q2, one car into Q3, probably leaning towards Nico. If I'm being honest, Nico has been very good in qualifying this year. And I think we're going to get a close points finish, but no points. So I'm looking at really like a top 12 finish, basically looking at 11th or 12th. I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's the hopium coming out in me. Maybe I just, maybe I'm a little delusional, as some might say. But I got a good feeling about this weekend with Haas. We can't, we can't come off of the weekend that we had in Spa and then have a rough weekend, basically, the next time out after a month of no F1. So my vibes are high. My energy is ready to receive a good, positive result for Haas. I'm ready to see it. Let's make it happen. So those are my predictions for Haas this weekend. And there we have it. The return of F1 after the summer break is very close upon us this weekend. I'm super excited to see cars on track once again. This month seemed to take absolutely forever. I know I'm ready to see cars going around on circuit again. I hope you are as well. What do you think of my predictions? Let me know down in the comments. And as like I mentioned at the top, let me know your predictions down in the comments as well. And if you made it this far into the video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll continue to grow this little community we have growing. We play a lot of F1 games around here and we try and have some fun along the way. But that will do it for me here. Stay tuned after the race on Sunday for my post race reactions and we'll go over my predictions I made as well to see just how I did. But for now, enjoy the weekend and we'll see you guys afterwards. But until then, I'll see you guys 
in the next one. <laughs>